what we also set out to do is to answer the question whether patient is on opioid treatment, whether they, during the treatment, whether they continue to require higher, higher doses, because there is a concern about patient developing tolerance and addictions, they require higher, higher doses. So we set out to look at the average HYD dose during the maintenance period. So this curve is showing you the HYD dose during the 12 months period, again, they reach a stable dose, and then the stable dose was fairly stable. It's been maintained throughout the 12 months period. And the average dose is about 60 milligrams per day. What we also look for is, in the study, we try to make it more of a real-world setting as possible. So the short-acting opioids was allowed. So they could use short-acting opioids to supplement HYD for their pain control. But what we observe in the study is that the use of supplemental short-acting opioids was reduced uh, by the end of a titration to a minimum level. But that minimum daily dose of short-acting opioids was maintained, again, throughout the 12 months period, meaning that their pain control, their function improvements were maintained primarily with the HYD treatment.